Hey guys and welcome back to Farm Simulator 2017 on West Coast. So we need to empty this beast up. And let me tell you the trials and tribulations of today. Well, it is 10-12, which is a uh, well, good time to start recording. I've been up since about half eight. And it's only now that I've actually uh, gathered enough, I don't know, what to w wake up and record. <laughs> Unlike Mr. Simulate, which he messages me uh, actually not long after I woke up saying, Yeah, I don't think I'll be live streaming today. Oh, why? I go. Yeah, he's not been to sleep. So uh, that was, of course, for Monday. Actually, yeah, Monday. This is Monday right now for uh, me. For you guys, this is Tuesday. So disregard that because it doesn't really matter. I just thought it was, uh, yeah, I, I guess he got his nose into Subnautica, and the time he got off of that and went to go to bed, probably 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, I'd guess. And I gotta sort the darn steering wheel out. I'm not even gonna say it. You guys know, you, you guys can fill in the blank there, what I always say. Alright, so we're still working on these fields down here. Well, that field, uh, then that one, and then we can get these all cultivated and all that good stuff. I believe I was just testing out the cultivator over there. I, I really can't remember. We'll set this up with course play again. As I say, I think we were sorting out animals, if memory serves correctly. And once we've got it past these telegraph poles, really, it can just go ham and basically sort itself out. So that is what I will more than likely do. Alright, drop them. Ah, that's right, that's flipped there. Now do we have... Hey, got that to finish off in the RX actually. Do we have any bales left in this field? I don't think we do. And that is a big old negatory. Cool. What we could do is bring down the... Uh, 135, chuck on the weeder. That will just use one of the tractors that are down here, because let's face it, we're not short of a few pieces of machinery down here. We've got, we've got two tractors over that side, and probably something over here. Ah, no, we're good. We are good to go. Yes, yeah, so we'll probably just chuck the weeder on and get go around this field. Basically, the weeder, for any of you that don't know, when you miss pieces of grasses like this, I know some people are really particular about not missing stuff like that. If you like me, I don't care. It's going to rot down at the end of the day. It makes it disappear. So typically I will run a weeder through a grass field. So on Oakfield, I need to get me one of them. One for the 240 just to run around. Alright, speaking of two, 240, not 240, the 135. Kind of ditched 240 now. I'm not about that 240 life anymore. We're all about the 135. Uh, how's this doing? Do we need to fertilize this? I can't rightly remember. And that is field 14. It is growing and it is fully fertilized. We probably have the fertilization on one stage, that is why. And do we? The answer to that drum roll, please, is yes, we do. Uh, that's probably from when I was doing uh, live streams or what have you. I can't rightly remember. And that should be empty now. So we'll get it past the pole there. And then be ready to rock and roll. So we're probably going to be doing groundwork, to be quite honest. I think we sorted most of the stuff to do with the animals out already. I don't think they need feeding or anything like that. The pigs may. Actually, it, we should be able to just blip it on course play right now. And that's really loud. I was listening to music earlier and I had the headphones kind of cranked. Uh, so this is field 16. Uh, that one, that one. I know we did four headlands after generates. Have a look, see. That is not what we did. Generate course. That is also not what we did. 
Apparently we may be finishing us off by hand if we can't find the course. What did we do? Or did we do vehicle position? I bet that's what we did. Or I did, sorry. Generate and generate and boom. Well, that actually looks pretty damn good. But it's going to be starting from the wrong direction. Can we change it? No, we can't. Uh, no, this is where we screwed up. I had it doing the headlands first. It's a combine. Jeez, good grief. Engage your brain. There we go. Alrighty, in theory, we've got it. In theory. I say in theory because we may have to do some figuring out later down the line. We'll see how it goes. That a horrible suspicion is not going to be pretty. Moving on. So, let's go and actually look at the animal situation over here. Over where? Over there. Grass. The kind of low, but that'll be fine. Cleanliness 16. That's the sheep. So, we need to drive over that way. And we'll just, I guess, drive around and that's missing a rope. Uh, I give up. I think I'm just going to plow that field. I'm kind of over it. And not that one. This one. I don't need to do anything here because we did that last time. I remember that. I'm pretty sure I do. So... I guess if we just follow this road, we'll be checking out the pig area and then go down to the cow with the uh, sheep and see how they are all doing. So I hope you guys are having a good week. So far, so good here. Kind of looking forward to see what Monday's drop will give us for mods. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to be long before I would possibly start streaming now. There is a mod that if it does drop, or if it did drop Monday, then i rather go record a mod review on that. And that is the Black Sheep Modding's Leaper Excavators. I want to have a look, see at them, see what they're like. So I think they are definitely a very, very widely anticipated mod. Jim. Me personally, I'm looking forward to giving a go. It's something that I was kind of a, a little excited for. Whether I'll use it too much, I don't know. I was thinking about Oakfield. Maybe I'll get into doing bits of forestry with that. I'm not entirely sure yet, though. I like doing forestry on a smaller scale, and at the same time, what other use of the forestry is for a. Uh, digger, basically. Maybe load of manure, but at the same time, I think typically in the UK we see turley handlers now. Possibly for uh, bigger operations, may see excavators like that, or uh, I know for a fact in Europe they use them for sugar beets. I think black sheep, black sheep themselves have done a video with that, or following off from one of their vi their own videos, I've seen them load in. Sugar beats into a back of a truck using the grab. Possibly even m moving pellets around if you guys have got the straw DLC. Or add on. Hey, FPS drop. Good grief. You guys saw that in the video. That was 15 FPS drop right there. Good old West Coast. It really doesn't like me, I swear. So what's the plan after this? Well, probably the, uh, well, tomorrow will be an Oakfield video for you guys. Again, in between me doing videos, I'm going to be, well, I actually want to get proactive for sorting out the audio. And then check out to see on the off chance anything's dropped on the mod hub. It's probably a wee bit too early yet. I'm kind of hungry, so I may even make myself some lunch early. I don't know on that one yet. 
Of course, this is going to be Tuesday, so I will be live streaming at 7 o'clock 2 at night. Right, yeah, I could drop a ticket down here. The old blighters need that stuff pushing back in. Now, as far as manure, does it... Yeah, it mugs out itself automatically. You can see where it's all speckled all over the place there. And this is what I did when I was going to remove the tree. You can see we've got the Amazon cultivator down here. I need to get rid of that and the tree cut there. I was just going to get rid of it so I could put the pig food mixer here, but never ended up happening. Probably got a tiny, tiny bit of slurry here. Let me do. Alright, so these are all happy. They've got plenty of water by the looks of it. Yep. Alright, jump it back in our tractor and say goodbye to Fort Bacon and head off to the sheep area, which luckily. I don't think it's a particularly long drive. Can I actually go down this road to connect to that? I'm not sure. Let's just stick to the roads we know. I think down that, this way actually, we go onto the dual carriageway. So something that you guys don't often see in my videos. I don't know anyone too many else's videos. Uh, then we'll probably jump in the RX and finish off that field. Unfortunately, it's a field that we've not yet got the chance to harvest from, a second crop that we've seeded ourselves. And I kind of question if it will end up happening. Because I think we're on 45 episodes, so we've got about 5 more episodes, give or take, before we're done. That being said, live streams is we're still good on. Now, speaking of them, I don't know when this game save. That's the edge of the map, I think, yeah. When this game's game save comes to an end, I am going to wipe it. I've definitely made that decision, I'm just going to nuke it. Whether I will set up a new one again, I'm not too sure. I'm tempted to for live streams and stuff like that, just to chill out on. Uh, but pretty much just a fresh start, new vehicles. And we'll probably get the animals going right away. But it will be somewhat of a streamer-only map. And this is one thing that I really, really bugs me. Dual carriageway. If we wanted to go the complete opposite direction, we can't because there's the tunnel. And we can't get it through there. Now, this is a dual carriageway. We shouldn't be doing this. But, uh, I wish it had a cut through. That's one thing on West Coast I'm shocked he didn't do. Now there's a dual carriageway near me. I'm not going to say the name of it because you can follow it right to where I live. And it has gaps in the bars like that so you can get through to different sides of the road and turn offs and stuff like that. It's a shame we can't do that. Because this is the quickest way down here. But we'll go around the roundabout. The correct way. Alright, so I believe it's yeah, just down the road a little bit. So we're taking the scenic route of uh, West Coast. Like I say, this is an area you guys probably don't see too much. Here's the sugar cane field that I've uh, just said... Uh, how with basically <laughs> I am bothering. It's too much of a slow, boring process. Oh, that road does go through the son of a. Okay, I'm done. Officially done. Just there, I believe. Yep, there's a sheep farm. So also, I can actually talk about it now. Uh, Bullet Bill has announced his new map. Lone Oak Farm, which is based in America. I think a lot of people are going to be shocked that he is working on an American map. Uh, speaking to him, he just wanted to try something different. Something way out of 
his comfort zone. It's based on a real map. Obviously downscaled due to the physical size of most American stuff. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I'm, this is what I've been saying, guys, when I said I'm really looking forward to see the community's reaction. Because I know from my experience playing American maps on the channel, people like them to begin with. And then they get incredibly bored of the series. So I just end up stopping it. I love doing an American maps. It's one that I always go back to. Uh, Oregon's supposed to be getting an update th relatively soon, so I'll probably restart that save, to be quite honest, and set it up properly. And I want to do some here and there on it. I was going to... Well, I was, and I am, going to do the that... Uh, really, I don't want to call it this, but... The Seasons series, I'll call it actually, on Oakfield. And that's going to be sort of once in a while and may do something similar with Oregon. Once in a while until Bill's map comes out to everyone. Or uh, I get it when it's way down the line, if I get it way down the line. I'm not one of these people that I... Uh, say, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get something, when I'm not. I I was in this farm sim, sort of, if you like, career, doing these videos, for the longest time, not getting anything. So I'm okay with that. Yep, and that has really ruined this field. I had a th feeling it would do that. So what it's done, is we've got the smooth headlands, so it's literally just been turning. Boom, we don't want that. So uh, live and learn on that one. And uh, let's jump back into this. I have triggered so many people in this one episode, I love it. <laughs> I know it. I just know, absolutely know, I have triggered people. But there again, it's the end of the series. I, You know, you get to a point in the map where you're just like, yeah, I really don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm there. I am there. I'm still enjoying West Coast for sure. Beautiful, beautiful map. Alright, let's jump into RX. Get this beast going. I have removed this from Oakfield. It may come back once in a while. I don't know yet, personally. Uh, we're trying to get to the bottom of the FPS drops. So. It looks like we really have, and it seems it wasn't anything to do with vehicles. I think I talked about that pretty damn good in Monday's video. It seems like it was more to to do with the case of all of the vehicles in the one area which is the case and apparently I had this on course by the looks of it because I see the course right there still loaded that's actually really surprising it is too huh you know, it's been a while since I've had the beast dump Why is this soil unfertilized there, uh, not fertilized there and fertilized over there? I know I haven't gone along spraying. Your guess is as good as mine on that one, guys. It really is. I really do need to uh, upgrade the engine in this thing. That's the thing, the MR scripts on this, for whatever reason, Serious Mods, who did me a script up for this, well, the XML, should I say, not a script, and the other one that's now on the repository for MR, I've tried both, and both of them have the same issue, and that is the front tracks seem to slip big time. Like, you look, it looks like it's going faster than the back. And this tractor, you cannot operate the diff box. You can see the diff is on, or the four-wheel drive system's on. And that's because of course play. Now, I think I could get it to glitch on. And they usually handle a lot better, but there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. At the same time, this uh, Cordy Plow, which is basing game, well, not basing game, but part of the Big Bud pack, it requires a lot of horsepower, and I think that this is just marginally above it. 
So I'm not too surprised it's struggling. But it's, uh, it's slipping pretty damn good. It is climbing. It's working hard. You can see what are we are. 104.5 litres an hour of diesel. Just gurgling it back. This is the last headland anyway, so... We'll be good to go. I uh, will bring this back to the farm. And just grab a cedar right away and come down here. And get this seeded. I'm not sure what we'll put in it. Probably, uh, maybe canola. And Nathan sent me a mod where you can turn canola into straw. Which we were talking about yesterday, so it's kind of cool that he said about that real quick. I'm not sure where that mod's from. I'll have to ask him. If he knows where the original download link is. Or if it's one of these ones that got shared around the community, which uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if that's the case, obviously. I will uh, probably won't use it, to be honest. But I'll ask him, uh, if not after this video, join the live stream or whatever, or maybe if I forget he sees this video and can let me know. Because it's something I wouldn't mind using. Yeah, this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. I wouldn't. Yeah, look at look how look how much they're slipping. As much as I like this tractor, I don't think it's a good MR convert. For whatever reason, people struggle to get the tracks, and I don't know why it is. I think it could be something to do with the differential looking, and the fact you can't lock them. I don't know how you would put that in there so it could lock diffs. So even the stock and game stuff works. But there again, the drive control could inject code to make them properly work. I don't know. I'm pretty much going downhill, and it's still slipping. <laughs> Crazy. Now our, our cedar does automatically cultivate at the same time, so any bits that are left, I'm not too worried. I will just cultivate that right under anyway. It's still an amazing tractor though, that's why I kind of I enjoy using it. That's why I will miss it off Oakfield if I, if I do remove it completely. These were, well, the RX was one that you saw people making, one person in particular, and of course, they always keep their mods to themselves, unfortunately. So I'm so glad we have this one out. A very, very high poly model, unfortunately, so it's, uh, it does give you FPS hits, there's no two ways about it, no doubt it does. There we go, slipping again. <laughs> I think it is anyway, it looks like it is. Another tractor I'm definitely thinking about possibly putting on uh, Oakfield. And I'm still like, I'm in an R and do I really need it? Because quite quickly some of the tractors are getting very similar to the season series I want to do on it. And that's uh, the T9. New Holland T9. You don't see many people using that thing. And the thing, it's in the UK. There are a couple of them, at least, and they're beast of tractors, they're huge, they really are. Alright, that is this, Dunzo. Been a while since I've actually done anything in the RX, I think I just, next time I'll just go for the big horsepower one. So let's look one as soon as we've got this bit done. I think that requires 400 horsepower, so we're only 100 power 100 horsepower extra, give or take. Uh, that's under plows. I believe, oh no, maybe it is under Cody, cultivators. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, 420 horsepower. And we are 520. Yeah, so not, mu not much extra. Not much extra at all. I'll exit that out. And where's the exit of the field? Is it there?
I really can't remember. Nope. Must be up in this top corner somewhere then. Or bottom corner. Uh, not there, not there. How the heck do you get out the field? I, if I remember correctly, it was a pain in the butt for me to try and find the entrance into the field last time too. There's got to be a gate down here somewhere. And that's... Ah, I think it's here, actually. Yep. It's been so long since I've done anything in this field. We literally bought it, harvested it, and then we were doing this. It's been a really long time, and of course at that point then I got Oakfield, so everything else went out the window. Which hopefully, I'm hoping, Oakfield is now out. I don't know though. Again, I don't know if Oakfield is out. Uh, at the time of me making this video, it isn't. It's Monday I'm recording this, so anything is possible what drops on Monday. I'm hoping it's going to be this week. I really am. Yeah, I understand. I've already got it. So you guys are like, oh, why, why would you hope it is? For you guys, honestly. It's an amazing map, and I can't wait to see your guys' reaction in the chat. So now it's going to be funny when people get turn around and realize and go, "Wow, this is an absolute stunning map." And of course, you're going to probably get the naysayers, and, "Oh, this map's crap." But each to their own. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I know that for a fact. If you if you're into the small sort of to medium sized farms, it's probably not going to be for you because you are going to need big equipment. Because those fields are one to one sort of ratio. They are exactly the same size as the real counterparts and that's the thing that I've been trying to drive home to a lot of people I feel that people are going to be all gun ho get trying it and then realizing hang about these fields are pretty big especially when they instantly try and buy 43 they'll regret that decision kind of fast and no doubt one of these well somewhere in this week I'll probably live stream this map it has been a while. That being said, I've got another map that I've just downloaded from uh, Modern Walt, and that's the... Uh, begins with B. Hoffman, Borg Hoffman, or however you pronounce it. I don't know how... I don't know if you pronounce them up. It's an interesting one. I jumped into it, and I was instantly lost. Unfortunately... I will say this right off the hop, it is from Uploaded, and I despise that website, so... I think it's a scumbag move, especially when the file is 800 megabytes to put it on Uploaded. And I will call anyone out that does something like that. And I'm sorry, but Uploaded restricts your download speed to the point where... You more as well not bother putting your map up for download, because most people are either going to look for old versions of it to play that are stable on other websites, or just not bother downloading it. Or do the real scummy thing of, basically you're forcing people to pay for uploaded, and... So many better hosting websites you could people could use than uploaded, it's ridiculous. Why mod sites still support that is really, really beyond me. And unfortunately, mod host is one of them, and... For this case, that map is on there. But, as per my style and stuff I do, I'll always link the original download. It's up to you guys where you download it. I will say this though, if you are creative at finding and Google searching, you will find an alternative place to download the latest version. I will completely and openly say that. Alright, uh, let's give our new pressure washer a go. I did say I'll do a mod review on this. I probably come out this weekend. Alright. Uh oh yeah, I need to actually fill it with water and everything, so we can't use this yet. Huh? Nice one. Alright, let's quickly go fill it with water. Use this thing to take it there. And then we'll probably we'll just wash this thing off and we'll call it quits.
That's the one nice thing about this tractor. It's only the 240. Especially when you compare it to this tractor, which I would like to think the RX is uh, correctly scaled. I think it could wow me. Obviously, I don't know. Because you've got the 135, which really obviously isn't the first tractor by any shape or form in the world. But back in the day when this was a large tractor, large horsepower tractor. Oh, it does have water. Why didn't that switch on then? Oh, it needs go go juice. I I couldn't remember what it needed. It's got the cleanser. Just needs some fuel. So it's two hundred liters of cleanser, eight hundred liters of water, and then fuel less probably. Nothing crazy, I hope. Is it have a gauge for that? I can't remember. I really cannot remember. That's the cleanser tank. I don't think it does. Which is a shame. Yeah, 100 liters of fuel. So you got a lot of weight on this little thing. <laughs> when you think about it. Almost a ton of water. 200 liters of... of uh, Cleanser. So yeah, you're just what? A thousand two to three a thousand to two to three hundred liters of liquid. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of that. So actually because I think this is the first time I've used it on here. You hear it, the engine starts up and it's got different R RPM. Ah, keep on hitting the wrong button. Son of a gun, really? Why can't I? I'll be here. And you'll see the exhaust change, it's pretty cool. That's why I kind of like it. Especially when you got these two beasts parked together. It's just... you got modern day and then old school over there. Craziness. And of course the pipe. Now it does have another coil of pipe next to it. It'd be nice if you could hit a key to extend your reach a little further. So let's face it, if this was for agricultural use you probably have quite a long uh, pipes just so you could go around the whole entire machine now I don't know if it washes quicker than the normal stuff I have no idea, why does it keep on doing that? no idea whatsoever, so what I'll probably do is back over here get a thumbnail and I will bid you guys farewell now, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, we'll be back tomorrow on Oakfield of course, we'll be live streaming as well today and, wow, today and tomorrow. Uh, no guarantees on Monday because of, well, mods coming out, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, keep an eye on the mod spreadsheet. I will make sure that Carter is in there. Uh, probably do a mod review of that this weekend, more than likely. So, until next time, guys, I hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you on the flip side. Later.